So it's currently 5, like 18 a.m. And I'm about to be picked up because I'm going to the gym. You guys might know that like late last year I was working out a bit. That did not last long. But anyways, I thought I'd give it another go and um, I'm struggling. I went to the gym at 5 a.m. yesterday morning. And I'm going again. I only slept three hours, so <laughs> I'm not vibing. I had a dream about cooking and making eggs and I hate eggs, but now I'm like, hmm, do I want them? I know I don't, but like I'm considering it. So basically it's still dark outside and that's how you know I'm doing something I don't want to be doing. <laughs> It's so dark outside. I don't think I've ever been up this early in my life. so much but yeah i'm gonna shower and then go back to bed yesterday when i got up this early i had a bit of trouble falling back to sleep so hopefully i can fall back asleep look at me going to gym with like my nails and my freaking jewelry how embarrassing <laughs> by the way this is Stax and the leggings are crop shop boutique but yeah i'll see you when i awaken okay guys so it's currently like 12 30 so i slept for a couple more hours i got up at like 11 and i'm actually going to a mole appointment i don't have any moles but um i have a lot of beauty spots that i need to get checked like one year ago i got this one on my stomach removed and this summer i made sure to be really careful and wear my sunscreen and everything so basically they're just gonna like take photos and write down everything and I'm going by myself. And the last time I went to like a doctor's appointment by myself was like a year ago with my eyes because my eyes were hurting and like I had a mental breakdown because they told me that my optic nerve was swollen. And of course I decided to Google that and I thought I was gonna go blind and I went to the hospital. But anyway, we won't talk about that today. But yeah, I'm running late, so I'll show you my fit. This is the outfit. I haven't put on my shoes yet, but yeah. I need to go. Okay, so basically it is now raining. It's like a stormy day, stormy. <laughs> But yeah, I just finished at the mole clinic. I was rushing to her, so I didn't really film beforehand. But the like lady was really nice who looked at all my beauty spots. Luckily, none were a concern to her. But she did take a photo of two of them. One on my leg that I thought had maybe grown and one on the bottom of my foot that I thought was like newish. But she was like super nice and she made me feel really good. So I really recommend you guys get annual like mole or beauty spot checkups. So now, as it's raining i'm going to drive home safely and i actually guys guys i got a 23 and me dna test kit for me and my mom so far that i know of i'm quarter italian french scottish and on my dad's side i have a family tree and a couple of generations ago my family was living in mauritius but the thing with people from mauritius they could be many different ethnicities so i could be african i could be asian I could could be white so it's a bit of like oh what am i if you get what i mean but i just tell people i'm quarter italian because that's what i know of but if i don't come back as italian i will be very shocked but yeah i got one for my mom to be honest i think she's just like pretty much white there's nothing that anyone has mentioned to say that she is anything but european but yeah no i actually can't even describe how excited i am i have been like sleepless over this i've wanted one of these for ages and i just didn't want to spend the money but i did it and I'm doing it. All right, I'm so excited. I'm gonna rush home. No, I'm gonna drive home safely and I'm gonna freaking see where I'm from. Okay, so I just got home. My mom's coming upstairs because we're going to find out what I actually am. I'm really nervous. I think I'm nervous because like I have no clue at all what to expect, like literally nothing. All I hope is that I'm a bit Italian because if I'm not, that is extremely <laughs> Extremely concerning. That means my life is a lie if I'm not at all Italian. So that's the only thing I'm sure of. 
Hi, we're both wearing green. Okay, so I have it on my computer. We're gonna look at my mum's first because that'll prove to me what I'm half of, if you get what I mean. I get what you mean. And then I'll be able to like actually see what my dad is because he didn't do a test. Okay, so let's- I've got a bun yet. No, no, that's, ignore. View report, 40. <gasps> my <God. laughs> Wait, oh, what? British and Irish, UK. I didn't know you were from the UK. Yeah, yeah well, Scotland. I suppose that's a bit UK. You're forty percent Italian. Italiano. Only forty percent. Oh, my mother is, and my father isn't. You're Jewish. Great. Glasgow. Glasgow. Scotland. Belfast is Ireland. Edinburgh is Scotland. Dundee. I is can't Scotland. believe you're from Ireland. And Scotland, darling. Okay, where in Italy are we from? That's the question. Cool, yeah, yes, yeah, correct. Foggia. Foggia. Isn't it crazy that it tells you like where exactly. in Italy? Yeah. Exact. Labria. Okay, we're from everywhere Abruzzo. in Italy. Okay, that means I'm hardly Italian. You're nothing but white. I'm looking a bit white. <laughs> you you wait, are you're a legend. Wait, you're four point eight Greek. <sighs> Where did that come from? I have a two percent Greek. I'm gonna have everything. <laughs> I'm gonna have everything. Neanderthal. <gasps> Two hundred twenty-seven variants. What does that mean? I'm a Neanderthal. You have more Neanderthal DNA than thirty-one percent of other customers. That explains a lot, doesn't it? No. <laughs> Out of 7,000 variants, we found 227. That's a lot. You have less than 2% though. You are less likely to have a fear of heights. Which is true. She's like jumped out of planes and stuff, so that's true. You have one variant associated with being a better sprinter than a distance runner. That is not true. No. Mm -hmm. HV4 haplogroup. So I think this tells you where you migrated. 180,000 years ago, you started in Africa. Let's look at your traits. Legend. You do not have cheek dimples, you don't. You do not have a cleft chin. You have detached. Yes, you do. Mm -hmm. Detached earlobes. Oh came. my goodness, I talk about your earwax. That is so gross. Do you have wet earwax? Yes. <gasps> okay, my mum has green eyes. 52% chance of blue eyes. So you're more likely to have blue eyes than green eyes. Mm, well, it looks like I got the 17% chance green eyes. 69% your ring finger is longer than your index finger. No. It is. Oh. So is mine. 39% very fair skin. What would you be? What are they? Do you have stretch marks? Yeah. No, you don't. Yeah, I do. No, you don't. I do. You have a longer big toe. Yeah, you yeah. do. Unibrow. You do not have a unibrow. I don't, thanks to plucking. No. <laughs> Did you ever have a little bit? Oh, there might have been a space like that. Slightly higher odds of disliking cilantro. What is cilantro? I don't know. 50-50 chance to being able to match musical pitch. My mum cannot match musical pitch. I can. More likely than average to have a bunion. Mm -hmm. Do you have bunions? No, I've got something growing out the side of my foot. It looks like a bunion. Ew. You're more than likely average to be afraid of heights. Mm -mm. About 50-50 chance of having a fear of public speaking. Mm -mm. Average odds of hating chewing sound. Completely. You hate it? Oh. Really? I don't oh. care. Less likely no photic sneeze reflex. No, reflux. I do get that. You do? Mm. Wake up around 7.23 a.m. I've dreaming. <laughs> okay, let's do mine, let's do mine. Yeah. Ah! Okay, so where do you think you're from? I think maybe Sri Lankan. Here we go. Oh, what a scream. Irish and UK, Scandinavian. Yep. I'm only 10%. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I was like 15%. Greek and Balkan, 1%. Oh, you Spanish, got Jewish? Jewish. Oh, the Spanish. So, Sub Sahara Africa. Where am I? So that's Central Eastern Africa. Africa. Nigeria, Cameroon, Northwest Asia. Where's that? Iran. Iranian. <gasps> I'm Middle Eastern. Oh. I'm Egyptian. I'm Filipino. I'm, oh, I am Sri Lankan. 0.02%. What? And then there was an unclar unclarified bit. Unassigned. Unassigned. What? Oh, so aliens. What? 
Probably. Neanderthals DNA. 229 genetic variants can be traced to Neanderthals. This is the same as you. Oh, you have one variant associated with having a worse sense of direction. That's weird because I have amazing sense of direction. Whereas, um, she has terrible. Completely. You have one variant associated with being less likely to have a hitchhiker's thumb. Is that when it like goes back? I don't know what that is. This will be the interesting thing because I know myself well. I do not have cheek dimples. I do not have a cleft chin. I have had dandruff. I do have detached earlobes. I do have wet earwax. 51% chance you have lots of freckles. Yes. You experience hair photo bleaching. I yeah. think I do. Yeah, you do. Slightly yeah. wavy yeah. hair. Yeah. Dark brown hair. Yep. Mm -hmm. I had little or no hair at birth. Correct. Didn't I have a lot? No. Oh. I think when you were first born you did, but it all fell out within two days or something. Oh. Ridiculous. Very fair skin. I get really tanned. So that, I don't know. That's weird. 75% chance you have stretch marks. I don't have stretch marks. Something to look forward to, darling. But I have cellulite. I do have a longer big toe. I have a little bit of a unibrow. Yes. I thought I was going to say I have a thick unibrow because like it grows pretty fast, not going to lie. You do not have a widow's peak. True. Okay, mm. taste and smell. I can taste bitter. Prefer chocolate, no, I prefer vanilla. Likely prefer salty, hell yeah. Less likely to have a bunion. I don't have a bunion. More likely to have a fear of public speaking, yeah. Average odds of hating chewing sounds, I don't care. Likely bitten more than others, yep. yeah. The mozzies love your blood. <laughs> Likely to wake up around 8.50 a.m. That does not happen. Maybe, Maybe that... like 12 p.m. There you go. Well, that settles it. We've got the genetic proof now. Genetic proof. Okay, so that's it. Um, see you later in the day. Bye. Okay, you guys, I have to be kind of quiet because my mum is sleeping. But I haven't eaten all day. So I'm going to make some cacio e pepe because Shiv is coming over and my mum's friend is coming to cut our hair. So. A little water. Salt. I'm going to start grating the cheese. It's boiling. Put the spaghetti in. Now I'm going to grate my grano pedano. Now time for the pecorino. So here I have my two cheeses. I don't have any parmesan cheese though, so that's a problem. Okay, that does not feel cooked. It's not that bad though. Okay, so I have moved the pasta over to this boiler and I'm putting this pan on low heat with a little bit of oil. I'll just pop all of that in. I'm just gonna put like a ton of this pepper in. I'm gonna add some garlic salt, more pepper. I'm gonna grab some of this pasta water and put that in. And I'll just let that simmer and cook until it goes golden brown. All right, now I'm going to add the pasta. Mix it all. Okay, now I'm going to add the grano padano. Just chuck it all in. And now I'm going to add the pecorino. Mm -hmm. Perfect. All right, I'm going to dish up. Mm, look at that. Mm. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to watch some YouTube and I'll see you when Shiv gets here.